Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a review. Now, the thumbnail said the perfect portable setup. I think I found it, guys. I think I found one that will work for you. Now, I'm gonna base this setup for working with a detailed airbrush. So, a 0 0.2 down to a 1.0.18 or the 0 0.15 on the Harvard and Steam Bay. So using this for a detail setup, that's what I'm gonna set it up for. Because when I work on detail, and on portraits and on close up, really close in on your work, you tend to drop your pressure down and you're working at lower pressure. You're working with thinner paints. Well, I do personally anyway, I work with thinner paints when I'm doing detail on portraits and just go a little bit slower and work up the layers nice and light with thinner paints, more than likely transparent and things like that. So they are a thinner based paint. So I'm gonna base this for a detail setup. Now, I picked up one of these things that I'm gonna review and show you today a while back and did a review on the channel for you guys, which is one of these here. Now these, if you've not seen these, they are a portable little compressor, battery unit compressor, which hooks up to a brush at the top. So when you press, you can hear it, you're getting your air coming out the front when you release. So it works just like an airbrush, but you've got a battery that you're holding at the bottom, like that. Now, I did a review. The runtime on this particular one lasted 30 minutes continuous. We got some paint out of the brush. The downside to this setup here is the brush is absolutely pants. It really is. The cup tilts too far back in my eyes and it's really close to your finger. So you're balancing your finger to the back of the brush and you've got loads of travel. I mean, that's a ridiculous amount. And you tend to be traveling quite a bit back before your paint comes out. So you sort of here before your paint comes back and then it starts to come out. So the actual brush part of this let me down. The battery and the actual compressor piece with the continuous of air was absolutely spot on. So I thought it'd be nice if I could get this adapted to fit another brush. But the actual fitment on this is really small and there's nothing I can get to fit from this up to a bigger brush. So I sort of packed it in the box. I use this on my portable setup and it's to get me out of trouble. If I need to finish a piece of artwork and say my small compressor, give up the ghost on the job and add a little bit to finish off, I know this would get me out of trouble. A little bit fiddly to work with the brush, but I can get it to work and it would it'd see me right. So that's why I picked it up. So this one sits in my mobile setup. So I went onto Amazon, just scouted into Amazon, and I found another one. Now there was one review on this that someone had left from the UK. I scrolled down, looked at the write-up they'd give, and they gave an honest write-up and I thought, now this thing's gonna be worth a punt. 55 pound, I paid four pound 99 delivery because I've not got Prime, um, so it would have been sort of free. So if you got Prime, you get it free, so you get it for like 55 quid. So I thought, right, I'll get it. Get it for the channel, out my own pocket. There's no sponsor or anything here. I'll just pick this up out my own pocket to do a review for you guys. So we'll open the box up. I've already given it a little open off camera and I was shocked on what you get for the price, you'll see. So it turns up in a box like this, which is quite a decent sturdy box. It's not a cheap made box, it's a solid box. So you've not got no worries about it turning up and being damaged because it's a good sturdy box. So the first thing you do when you open this thing up, if we can open this thing up, As I say, sturdy box. You get a little bit of info about the mini air pump in the box. Now, 
The running time on that other one was 30 minutes and it was 30 minutes, it just, it just stops. This one is saying um, 60 minute on a full charge. So you've got 60 minutes of run time. Now, I can quite believe it because the other one's 30 and the battery on this looks bigger. So you've got USB charge cable, five volt output, 8.4 volt maximum current one amp on this. So it goes to like a jack pin to USB. And on the actual USB that you plug in to charge, it's got a, uh, a two light indicator. So it's red when you're charging, and then when it's charged up, it turns to green. So I've charged it up. It didn't need much charge, it was sort of like half charge when you get it. So that's a little bit about that. A little bit of bump, there's a little bit of Japanese, Chinese right on the back. So you get that. Then you get a bit of foam that covers what you're getting in the box. So when I opened it, I was like, crikey, this is worth 55 pound all day long because the cheap, basic airbrush, a real cheap one will cost you 20 to 30 quid for a semi-decent one. And then when you're looking at the brands, Sparmax, you can get a cheap one for about 50, 59 pound. So I opened the box and the first thing that you get is a little cleaning kit. Yes, they're, they're cheap, but you get a cleaning kit in it, which is handy, the little part cleaners for cleaning your brush out. So you get that. Then you get a little pipette in there for, if you want to suck up a little bit of paint, put it across to your cup. So you get a little handy pipette in there. Cheap, I know. But then it comes to the brush. Now, that's the brush. And the weight of this brush, one, is really good. The build quality, looks really decent the finish and feel really nice you get i think cool colors on it you've got the chrome you've got the black then you've got the gold ring at the center so it's a little bit like a infinity with the gold piece there nice black cup to the top you get a little cap on it you get a strange looking cap but it looks like the cap you get on the infinity like the distance cap where you can slide along so that would be quite handy to see what you could do with that because it's a similar sort of cap. You take that off and it's got a very similar front end to an Infinity when you take the prong cap off where it points down to the front. This is a 0 0.2, little bit of needle exposure out the front. Down to the bottom of the brush you get a MAC valve which seems to work really nice, a bit similar to the PS, the Grios range with the MAC valve on the front. Seems identical. The actual trigger is nice and soft and just feels really nice. It's slightly sloped to the front, so it's comfortable in your hand. It feels like you're holding a PS270, a little bit lighter on the brush. To the back, you've got a nice, smooth back piece that comes off. It's nicely machined alloy. You've got your chuck, which is half decent, which the chuck looks better than the ones you get on the, the PS771. It looks a little bit better machine chuck. Needle there to the back like normal airbrush. You've got your adjuster on the brush here. So all in all, looking at the brush, it looks quite decent. How on earth it's going to perform, I don't know. It could be completely wrong and it could be absolute pants. But we'll chuck some paint in it in a minute and we'll try it. But on looks and feel, it feels absolutely fine guys it really does so that's the brush you get in the box so i'm giving that a thumbs up on the build the look of it the way it's finished it's getting a thumbs up so far it might be a thumbs down in a bit a bit later on but all in all that's the brush you get in the box so not bad at all then the box contents just keeps going on and on so then you get a cup a bigger plastic cup now, these just screw off really nice on these. I don't know how these are going to fare up with solvents, but you get a massive cup to the top of that one. Little pop off on and off lid. They don't fit, they, well, they fit, but not great. I'd probably put a piece of masking tape over that just to keep it down if you're really tilting back and moving fast. You wouldn't want the cup to pop off. But if you're just doing any keeping it upright, that'd be absolutely fine. So you get that cup. Now I'm hoping 
the thread on this is exactly the same as the PS290 because the PS290 cup is very small and that will be an absolute bonus if that fits the PS290. It's a win-win because I get a bigger cup and you always run out of paint on the PS290 with the cup you get. So win-win on that. So you get that cup. Then tucked to the side of the box, they give you a spanner. So like, similar to like the iWater spanner, same, similar sort of build quality on that, which will take the front end of your brush off, I suppose, or bits on the brush, or adapting bits to the actual pump. Then you get another cup. So you get the next size down. So you get another cup in the box. So you get two of them. So bonus, you get a couple of spare cups. And if they're, as I say, if they adapt and you've got the PS290, win-win, because you get two more cups. Then moving on to the actual battery itself. Weight it, nice finish, nice. It's just a nice built battery, guys. You can turn it on like that. So it runs quick, that's without the airline on. You've got your little plug there that you plug in and then you clip that to your USB to charge it. And the actual brush itself is like a standard airbrush fit in there so you just screw that straight to the top so you've got you've got your air there and that's quite a good bit of air as well it's better than the one I had previous and then you can dial the air in on the mac valve so that would be the setup that you'd use out of the box with the brush Quite weighty, you'd know you've got this in your hand because that's a heavy battery, you'd know you've got it in your hand. So that's what you get there. So that would work perfectly fine as it is to get you going as a beginner. We'll try this brush in a minute, we'll give us thoughts on this brush. So that's the battery and then you get a little adapter that goes on top of here like that. You screw that one into the top of that. And then in the magical box that just keeps on giving, you get an airline. Now, braided black airline, similar to the Iwata one that I've got just here, very similar. And this is the treat of this, guys. Now, this is why I've got this. You've got your airline. So now you can run put that to your brush. Now the bonus with this, that is the same fitment as all your other brand airbrushes. So what I've done is, lose that for a minute, get a quick connect, drop the quick connect to this. So now you're hooking up like normal. Get your airbrush. Now this one's the iWater HPC Plus. Turn it on and you're good to go with your decent very own airbrush and if that brush is no good you can hook up a quality airbrush to this and as I say we're getting I'd say this is running about 18 18 to 15 psi continuous which I think for doing detail within paints is absolutely spot on I run that sort of air pressure anyway it's very rare I go over sort of 20 psi so we'll hook this up we'll try the brush that you get with it we'll try the brush you get with it we'll try this one with some painting I've got the Creos PS270 we'll try that we'll try the Takumi we'll try all the brushes that I've sort of got and we'll hook them up to this and give it a whirl guys and see what it performs like with your very own brush of your choice on. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're set up. I've got some of the golden high flow acrylics. Now I've thinned this out. I've gone like four drops of golden to a couple of drops of water in this mix here. I'll just do a little back mix. It's a bubble back and pull it through. Now, first impressions straight away on the trigger guys. This thing is on point when it comes to trigger. I'm just pulling a bit of paint through there and it's instant. So we'll do a little, if you can see that like that, 
we'll just do a little pull back and just see how responsive this trigger is and it is absolutely bang on this thing is moving like you would an eye water it is so responsive it's ridiculous you are moving that trigger very very slightly back so atomization absolutely spot on we'll do a bit of coverage on that no drop in air pressure at all so it's not drop in and it's struggling it's working absolutely fine bit more on the brush 0 0.2 this thing absolutely works effortlessly guys it really does after using that other one that i did the review on you know that brush is pants when you pick it up this thing this brush here would be an absolute dream to work with just hunking it up to a normal airline on your compressor and working with this. I could work with this brush, not a problem at all. It works really, really well. And I'll just give you a little show. You can see how clean and how down this brush is getting on DOS. And absolutely super fine lines guys this is like a quality detail brush and i'm not just saying this just to sell you this product i'm not earning anything out of this product at all it works it will do the job and it does the job comfortably in your hand the paint is a little bit thinner i don't know what it's going to be like with neat acrylic but at this working pressure, with golden high flow, I think it'll be absolutely fine. So you can dial, you can hear that just change down. Dialing the pressure down with a little Mac valve on the front, absolutely fine. And as you can see, it works. The trigger is absolutely spot on. It really is for movement. You gain a little bit of movement and look, there's your paint. That little bit of movement and you've got paint. And that's what it's nice. That's what it's good about a brush. You know it's half decent when you've got your nice trigger response and this has got trigger response. Now, I don't know what this is gonna be like for solvents. I don't know. But first impressions so far, guys, a cracking little brush with the setup. Now, I didn't buy this for the brush. I brought it for the lead and being able to chuck another brush on this. So that's with the cap on. And as I say, you could use that cap against a ruler like that to get your lines. So similar to the cap you get on the Infinity, a little bit chunkier, but it will do that where you could slide it against the rulers, get your straight line. So that's a bonus. Mac valve, bonus. Nice little cup to the top, and you get your interchangeable cups, bonus. It works. The brush works. So we've tried that one. I'll just turn that off. And now what we'll do is, we shall hook the airline up so you put your adapter that you get in there, like that. And then you can run your airline off, which I've got, we'll get that so one. This is the airline that comes with it. So you're getting your airbrush, your standard airline hose that you get on a braided air hose for an airbrush there. So you could put your own airline on. That screws across to that. And all I've done on this end is I've just hooked up a quick connect, one of the cheap ones, and then you can clip your airbrush of choice to the bottom. So we're gonna jump onto the iWater HPC Plus. Let's just see if we're getting some air. And we're getting air through there. I'm trying to mount this. Put that 
there. Right, we'll drop a little bit of paint in this. So a couple of drops of golden, we'll drop a little bit of water. We'll give it a back flush. So, right, we're gonna go in with the eye water now and see what this is like. And that's just so nice, guys, to have an, a quality brush hooked up to this is absolute win, win. It really is. The paint could go a little bit thicker, so we'll drop a little bit thicker. But we'll put some more paint in there and thicken it up. Now, as you can see, it's it's a darker colour now, and this works absolutely cracking. It's not dropping pressure. Fall back. It's a perfect working pressure for airbrushing, it really is. You don't need to go more than that, especially when you're doing detail work. It works absolutely fine. So that's the Iwata HPC Plus. So job done, PS270 on there. The actual quick connect, this, has just pinged off and it's losing air out of that. So I don't want to use that for the demo. So we've got the air in. We're going to try that if this brush is working. Just a little bit sticky. And there you go guys. There's the 270, so if you've got the PS270, it works an absolute treat with this. So you can have that mounted to where, wherever you want. It's not that loud. If anything, that's as loud as a, a silent compressor that you'd have at the side of your workstation. But PS270, working an absolute treat. No drop in pressure. getting down. So that's the 270 linked. So as you can see, the brushes are all interchangeable. We'll go this one next, which is a side feed. We've got the Iwata HP SB Plus and I need to get some paint so we'll pour the paint out the 270 into the cup of this. It's going to be a massive cleaning video after this guys because there's paint everywhere. And there you go, that's your next brush. So you've got your side feed Iwata working absolutely fine getting down on your details absolutely fine guys great working pressure works right guys honest opinion and this is my honest opinion on this kit would i recommend it absolutely no brainer guys yes I would recommend it. Now, the only thing I didn't do on that review is give you a runtime on this. Now, in my eyes, if it ran for 20 minutes, it's still worth it all day long. They're saying 60 minute runtime. I'll do a video on this, the next video, and we'll use this and see how long it lasts on a full charge. So the reason why I say this is a no brainer and you should get one, for one, if you're a beginner, and you want a cheap, quiet, portable setup where you can just sit in your room and practice, perfect, absolutely perfect. If you are a hardened airbrusher and you've been airbrushing like me for a long time, no brainer, again guys, it is worth its money all day long. To buy a cheap airbrush, something that is semi-decent, you're looking around 50 quid. 
Now, this kit came to, I think it's about 55 pounds. So you would buy an airbrush for that. Now, what you're getting in this kit, you're getting a battery powered little compressor, which works, you've seen it work on the demo. So you're getting that. The actual brush itself works. I was surprised this blew me away on how good this brush works. So you're getting the decent brush that you would probably pay around 40, 50 pounds for. It's in the box. 0.2, it works. The trigger response on this is absolutely spot on. You're moving it a tiny bit back and you're getting paint out. It coats with the paint fine. You're getting a matte valve to the front. So for 55 quid, I think you're getting a decent brush anyway, even if that didn't come in the box. I'd pay 45, 50 pound for that style of brush. You'd pay that anyway. So you're getting a half decent brush in it. You're getting your two cups that come with this as well. So if you want to put some more paint in, you can do. These work. I've just tried these on the PS290 and they don't fit, which was a bit of a bummer because I was hoping they fitted the PS290, but they don't. But you're getting a decent brush anyway, so you can put two different styles of cups. So you get three cups with it in all. You get a little cleaning kit. Now these things are cheap as chips on eBay, Amazon, couple of quid, you're getting some of them, but you're getting that in the box as well. So it's a bonus, you're getting a little cleaning kit in the box. You get a braided airline. Now, braided airlines can be anything from the region of four or five. Cheap ones, fiver. They're usually like the blue woven. This one's like a black woven. So it's like a meter long, which is more than good enough to work with. You could put your own air, airline on. Quick connect to this dyed on us, and this is a cheap one. These, after a while, they bend. This one's got a bend here, and they come away. So, these quick connects aren't very good. I'd just get a standard quick connect without the air regulator on for this setup, me personally. Or just do what I did in the video and screw your brush. Take your quick connect off your brush and just screw it straight to the bottom, job done. So you get the airline, four or five pounds worth of airline, which they are. So that's in the box. A pipette, I mean, these are like pence. But it's handy, it's in the pot. You want to get a little bit of paint or you're dialing in your colours nice, you can use your prepare. Job done, it's in the box. Now the bonus with this is you can hook it up to your airbrushes as you've seen what I did in the video. We hooked it up to some my waters and we hooked it up to a Creos and it worked absolutely fine. The paint consistency I was running was not over thin, it wasn't like a thick, neat, opaque. It was like, on the golden, it was sort of like a one-to-one -one mix. And that's how I'd mix my golden down anyway when painting would be like a one-to-one. -one. one drop of golden, one drop of water. And that performed with all them brushes absolutely fine. So, no-brainer, guys. For the price, it's a win-win. It works. It will get you out of trouble. And the bonus about it is, you can hook your brushes up. If you didn't have all the brushes and you just brought it for the kit, you are not getting a bad brush with this kit at all. It's well built. I don't know what it's like with solvents. I'll do some more reviews on this brush. We'll put it up to a normal line so I can put more air through it. We'll try some solvents with it, see how long it lasts. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna we'll do some more demos with this and then I'll do a giveaway on this. I'll just box this brush up on its own and I'll get this sent out to one of the subscribers as a little giveaway. So that's my review on this little portable setup. This was from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. In my eyes, win-win guys, you've got your airline and you can hook it up to your brushes and you've got a nice little portable battery that doesn't take long to charge. It says 60 minutes run time. I'll do another video and we'll run this until it just dies and we'll just see how long we get out of it. I'll do a portrait with it. So, a great bit of kit, guys, in my eyes. It really is, it works. The one I had previous was absolute pants. The brush was atrocious. The battery was okay. That was a 30 minute run time and it lasted 30 minutes. This one, better battery, more stuff in the box, a better brush that works. So yeah, no brainer.
thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed this review on this portable setup. In my eyes, it is a brilliant setup for a detailed side of things. Perfect air pressure that's coming out for a detailed brush. It really is, it works. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I will see you in the body shop because we've got a new gun review coming up, guys. It's a gun I've just brought, I've just ordered it. So there'll be a spray gun review coming up in the body shop. So hope you can join me in that one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.